Welcome, let's discuss the idea of chords and arcs in a circle. A chord, it's a line segment where the starting point and the ending point is in the diameter of the circle. So if we call this point R and we call this point S, then we can say that the line segment SR is a chord. And notice that the chord doesn't go beyond the circle. It starts at the diameter and it ends at the diameter. And there are infinite amount of chords that we can consider. If we choose this point in the diameter and we choose this other point in the diameter, and if we connect it, that's another example of a chord. Here's another example. If we choose this point in the diameter and we choose this point in the diameter, and if we connect them, we can consider that a chord as well. Let's consider in a specific scenario. What if we have two chords and they are congruent to each other? Let's draw them out. So let's consider the core RS. And let's consider the core NM. If these two chords are congruent to each other, then we can say that the arcs opposite of the chord are also congruent to each other. Congruent chords create congruent arcs. But what if it's the other way around? What if we have congruent minor arc? If we consider one arc, let's call it AB. And if we consider another arc that is also congruent to AB, Let's call it arc CD. Then, if we connect the starting point and the ending point of each of those arcs to create chords, we can conclude that those two chords are congruent to each other. Then we can say that congruent arcs create congruent chords. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.